Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So Shaq called out Stephen A. Smith for omitting Kobe Bryant from the GOAT debate. You know, Stephen A. Smith only including LeBron James and Michael Jordan. There's no Kareem. There's no Kobe Bryant, which is crazy. That's blasphemy. Kareem is not in the GOAT conversation. Kobe Bryant is not in the GOAT conversation. And they'll use the excuse of Kobe don't have enough hardware MVPs. So not more so a championship, but MVPs. But in the same sense, MJ has more MVPs than LeBron. MJ has two more championships over LeBron. But LeBron is still in the GOAT conversation. So why is Kobe not in the GOAT conversation? They don't even talk about Kareem when they have this conversation. It's only LeBron and MJ. The GOAT conversation should include MJ, LeBron, Kobe, Kareem, even Magic. All those five players I mentioned should be in the GOAT conversation. Whether MJ is a standard or not, they all should be in the conversation at least. And Stephen A. Smith just have a way of always leaving Kobe out of the conversation. And you know some hatred there. He always leave Kobe out. But LeBron get all the praise. LeBron belongs in everything. You know, LeBron and MJ. And nobody else matters. Because Kobe doesn't have more championship than LeBron. Kobe didn't go to the finals three times while LeBron was getting kicked out by Orlando. Let's not forget that. Kobe almost three-peated by himself. And you know what's crazy? Even if Kobe three-peated, they would have said, He's still not in the gold conversation. He's still not better than LeBron. Even if he three-peated without a Hall of Famer. Because at the time, Paul Gasol was not a Hall of Famer at the time. Nobody thought Paul Gasol was going to be a Hall of Famer. But obviously, they won championships with Kobe. So now he's a Hall of Famer. But at the time, no one thought he would have been a Hall of Famer. Let's be honest. So Kobe almost three-peated without a top 75 player. While LeBron barely got four rings with a whole bunch of all-stars and superstars and Hall of Famers. But if you let them tell it, Kobe Bryant does not belong in the GOAT conversation. Why? I don't know. It's only between LeBron and MJ. And Stephen A. and all the other media personnel, they always omit Kobe Bryant from the GOAT conversation. Just constant disrespect. Just because he wasn't kissing there, you know what. And you know, Kobe's a real one. He speak his mind. So because of that situation and all the other things that occurred, we're going to try to sabotage him and not include him in the GOAT conversation. And if you was watching Kobe, you cannot tell me LeBron is a better player. No, you cannot. If you saw Kobe play, there's no way on earth you're going to tell me LeBron is a better player than Kobe. I'm not going for it. Sorry, I'm not going. So Shaq is unhappy with Stephen A. Smith. You know, for always excluding Kobe from the GOAT debate. And I am with Shaq on that. I've been saying that's garbage, that's bull. And I'm going to keep saying that. That's bull. Like, why is Kobe not in the conversation? Whether you think he's a GOAT or not, he should be in the conversation. Magic could be in the conversation also. Kareem definitely belongs in the conversation. But somehow, LeBron have leapfrogged all these players. I don't know how. He have leapfrogged all of them. And it's only between MJ and LeBron. Everybody else is chopped liver. And you know that's bull, man. Stephen A and a lot of media personnel, they'll have Kobe at ninth, 10th spot on the all-time list. This man is like almost off the list, basically. They'll have Kobe way at the bottom. You know, they'll try to say Steph Curry should be in the GOAT conversation. Like, make sense of this. Is Steph Curry better than Kobe? That's a rhetorical question. But somehow... Dudes will say Steph Curry belongs in the gold conversation. But Kobe Bryant, who have more championships, is a better player. Steph has two regular season MVPs. Kobe has two finals MVPs. Steph has one finals MVPs that he just got the last time they won, two seasons ago. But they'll say Steph and Curry should be in the gold conversation. But Kobe Bryant, who is better than Steph Curry, it's not even close, should not be in the gold conversation. What are we talking about? If you compare Stephen Curry and Kobe Bryant's resume, it's not even close. Kobe's a better defender by a million miles. More All-NBA, better defender. He's more clutch. We could go on and on. He has more championships, two finals MVPs, one regular season MVPs. I mean, you could look at the whole metrics. 
we don't have to argue this. But for some reason, all these idiots will tell you Stephen Curry belongs in the GOAT conversation. But Kobe Bryant, he doesn't belong in there, but Stephen Curry does. Make this make sense. I can't make this up. This is coming from all these dudes on these sports channels and you know shows talking. And most of them, I'm being honest, they're idiots. They don't know anything. They could talk the game, but they don't know anything. And all they're doing is going off their biased emotions. Nobody's being neutral. Nope. It's always biased emotions. If I don't like you or I have some issues with you, I'm going to use that to sabotage you. And they've been sabotaging Kobe for years, man. This is normal. For years and years. Dudes will even put Stephen Curry over Kobe Bryant. And if you match up their resumes, it's not even close. Stephen Curry will leapfrog Kobe Bryant. Kevin Durant will leapfrog Kobe Bryant. Like on Speak for Yourself about a year or two ago. Marcellus Wiley said that Kevin Durant is a better player than Kobe Bryant. The minute I heard that, I was like, this guy don't know basketball. He shouldn't be talking basketball. He shouldn't be allowed to talk basketball. Not on TV or on any shows. It's all opinions. But when you say Kevin Durant is better than Kobe Bryant, that speaks for itself. You don't know anything about basketball. You don't know anything about basketball. So if you say Kevin Durant or Stephen Curry is a better player than Kobe Bryant or should be higher on the list or whatever you want to say, I can't listen to you when you're talking about basketball because clearly you don't know basketball. And that's asinine. But Stephen A's always disrespecting Kobe Bryant, talking crazy, you know, making these asinine takes. And I can't rock with it. I'm sorry. I just can't rock with it. So this is what Shaq had to say. We as people, we're going to stand on what we stand on. But I have a problem with what you said. Doesn't matter who the GOAT is. My guy should be in the conversation. I agree. You guys just throw him out of the conversations. Somehow it just went from Michael Jordan to LeBron James and you just throw my guy out of the conversation. His name needs to be in there all the time. And when his name is not in there, that's when people have a problem. I agree with Shaq. I have always had a problem with this because it doesn't make any sense. Why is Kobe Bryant not in the gold conversation? Why is Magic not in the gold conversation? Why is Kareem not in the gold conversation? Why is Stephen Curry placed above Kobe Bryant? Or why are they saying Stephen Curry belongs in the gold conversation? Yet Kobe Bryant doesn't make it make sense. So Stephen Curry belongs in the gold conversation. This came out of Stephen A's mouth. But Kobe being Bryant doesn't? On what planet? Come on, man. Are we serious here? Are we talking serious basketball or are we just being biased? What are we talking about? So if you're saying Stephen Curry belongs in the gold conversation, he's not better than Kobe Bryant. We could compare resume if you want to. We could watch clips. We could compare resumes. We could do it however you want to do it. Kobe's a better player than Stephen Curry. It's not an argument. So if Steph should be in the conversation, why is Kobe excluded from the conversation? Let's talk about it. And I have always had an issue with this. I will continue to have an issue with this. Because it's bullcrap, man. That's what I'm saying. Just because you're on ESPN or all these big media shows and you have a, you know, you have a huge audience and a huge platform doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. Because you are on a bigger platform don't mean you know what you're talking about. Most of these dudes just be talking. They don't know what they're talking about. You know, yes, they get paid the big bucks. They talk sports. But most of the takes be asinine. Dudes don't know what they're talking about. When I hear a dude like Marcellus Wiley said that Kevin Durant is better than Kobe or he's higher on the list than Kobe. And I hear dudes like Stephen A. say that Stephen Curry belongs in the GOAT debate. But he excludes Kobe Bryant from the GOAT debate. I can't take you serious. I can't take you serious. Once I hear stuff like this, then that's self-explanatory. You just told me you don't know anything about basketball. You're just talking. And I fail to say Stephen A. don't know anything about basketball. Because he knows sports, so I'm not going to say that much. But I do think a lot of things he say or a lot of his opinions, they don't make any sense. You can't put Stephen Curry over Kobe Bryant. You can't put Kevin Durant over Kobe Bryant on what planet? But the reason why they do these things is so they could diminish Kobe, so it could make the gap bigger between Kobe and LeBron. So when you have these conversations, 
LeBron could be way more further. The gap will be so big that you will never include Kobe Bryant in the conversation. But anyone who have watched Kobe, MJ, LeBron, etc., and you know your sports, you know your sports and you have some kind of brain, you know this is bullcrap, man. Kobe Bryant belongs in the conversation. So does Magic, so does Kareem. And that's that. But as always, ahala. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.